What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I got a special video delivered to my door was the grill rescue brush and we're going to be doing a review on this thing at the very end of the video. If I like it, if I dislike it, I already can tell you one thing about this grill rescue brush. It doesn't have those metal bristles and I'm telling you, stay away from the metal bristles when cleaning the grill because I know a couple people who a bristle got called up into a cheeseburger or something like that and the kid had to actually be rushed to the hospital. So don't use the metal bristles per se. It's totally up to you. Like even the one I have now, I use the rubber bristles. That works just fine on the grill, but it still doesn't cut it. It doesn't get it immaculate. It doesn't get it clean. So with that being said, if you guys are ready to get this review started, as always, I am that guy to do it for you. Let's go. So the moment you guys been waiting for, the Grill Rescue Brush unboxing. Let's see what it's made of, shall we? So first thing we say is we have the directions on the box um, up top, if you guys can see that. Um, step one, preheat 400 degrees. Make sure your grill is hot. Dunk your brush and run it under water. Gently wipe away the nasty gunk that has been building up in your grill some of you probably years so right here in the box we have the handle and I'm gonna tell you that that's a tough plastic handle that's pretty good so we got the handle and I ordered um, the brush with the metal little blade on it because the metal blade you can always scrape up that hard to remove stuff and that's it this box is empty that is what it comes with but I will tell you this, I have seen, the reason why I bought it is because on social media, I have seen a ton of reviews, and guess what, they're all five stars. So if they're all five stars, then you must have to buy this thing. This thing must be legit. So right now, pretty good, happy with it. So mine, as you know, you have the handle, and it comes with the metal blade, the metal scraper, which you're gonna need to get that stuff that just don't wanna come off them grates, and then you can just turn it around, and just wipe it gently. And that's supposed to clean your grill immaculate. Now, this was $60, without the blade on it, it is $50. So without the blade is 50 bucks, so that's up to you. Also, uh, the grill brush, uh, it has a hanger that goes on the end. If you guys wanted to buy the hanger, that's 10 bucks. So I'm most concerned about these cleaning heads. That's what I'm most concerned about. I wanna know how long they hold up because the cleaning heads is $16 without a scraper. So 16 bucks without a scraper and with a scraper, you're looking at a whopping $17. So $17 with a scraper. I don't know how many you go through, but I promise you, I'm gonna be able to tell as soon as we go out here and we wipe this dirty grill off because I'm gonna preheat this thing to 400 degrees and I wanna see exactly what it does. So stick around. That is what we're gonna be doing. You're gonna get a 100% honest review out of this, and I'm gonna let you know if it's worth it or not. Also, I am not affiliated at all with Grill Rescue. That's what made this video legit. I have no parts of it. So I'm gonna tell you if I like it or dislike it, hands down. All right, guys, so it's about that time, and before we go out, we're gonna go ahead and put this brush together. Now, what it is is it has some clips on the end. They're supposed to snap right in and they'll go right into these little slots right here. So it doesn't look that complicated, but let's try it out. Perfect, perfect, just like that. So that's how you put it together, and this is how you take it off. The same little clips that are on the corners, you just push it, squeeze it, and it pops right off. You can uh, dispose of this, or you can either clean it. They're talking about dishwasher. If you have time to run it through your dishwasher or just hand clean it, they said the sponge will come clean. If not, then you can go ahead and order another one for 16 or $17, get it delivered to your door, and then just snap it right back in, and you're good to go. So let's get it, let's go. The moment of truth has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. As you saw, I pegged it out 400 degrees the night before I cooked on it. Barbecue chicken, I did not clean the grill just for the purpose of this video. First thing I'm gonna do is use the scraper. I'm not gonna give it a good scraper. I'm not gonna get in the corners and stuff. The scraper's gonna do its job. It's heavy duty. 
it's gonna do what it has to do. But what our main concern is, is how this scrubbing pad actually works on the indirect and the direct side. So I'm gonna run it over to Coles as well. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna soak this scrubbing pad in the cold water, just get you a little bowl, five to 10 seconds. And then gently, you're just gonna wipe down. Just wipe it, see what it does. See if it gets this pad all dirty. It ought to get the pad dirty, that's for sure. But we wanna see actually if it takes off some of this stuff. As you saw before, I had this barbecue sauce just caked on all over these grapes. So I wanna see if it takes most of it off. I'm not gonna give it a heavy duty scrubbing, but I'm just gonna go over it a few times just so you guys can see what it's about. All right, guys, so you know what time it is. It is review time. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I had a nice little chicken breast cooked barbecue smothered all over this grill. I made it as dirty as possible. Next night, after it cooled down, he did a back up to 400 degrees. Sorry I run out of daylight, but hey, that's the way it is. But I love the durability of the handle. It is very strong. The most important part of it was the scrubber pad to me it was going to be the scrubber pad because i don't want to pay 16 17 dollars every month just to get another scrubber pad that thing is built right it took off all the grease it took off all the slag that was on top the barbecue sauce um if i took the blade around and actually got into it you can definitely clean the grill efficiently now is it worth 60 70 dollars that's up to you to decide I really don't have a preference. Either way, this brush is gonna get a four star out of five rating. I'm gonna give it four out of five. Is it the best thing I ever used? No. Is it safe to use? Absolutely, definitely if you have kids, you're doing a cookout, none of them metal wire bristles get up into your food, nobody has to go to the hospital. I'm gonna say that is a huge positive in my book, so. I like it, four to five star rating. Don't forget, go down below, check out the playlist if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Smash that thumbs up button if you liked the video. And also, don't forget that little tiny bell icon so you can get all the latest and greatest videos. With that being said, I am out. Thank you guys for viewing, and I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See ya.